Baby. Oh my god, the smell of tires. Let's get this into the uh, garage. So guys welcome back to the channel so today we got some tires and I bought this yesterday and it came today oh my god fast shipping for real I bought this on tire rack and uh, one day shipping so let's take a look these are some Falcon RT 615 K's plus these are like apparently the new version um, I was looking to buy some Bridgestones but these were like $300 cheaper they still feel really nice and sticky and from what I gathered from uh, research on YouTube, people were saying that these are really good tires because um, the outer tread here, it's thicker and reinforcing the tire for cornering. And it's also a big patch on the inside of the tire to help with the grip. So this is a really good entry level affordable compound tire and they're going on the S2K. Pretty much. Oh my god, it looks so good in this angle. So I'm pretty much getting rid of these Michelins that's on there, as you can see. They are AS3s. I had them for like two years now since I pretty much own the car. Um, they don't do the car justice. I got nice lightweight Advan RSs. I got big StopTech BBKs. I got a Muse Legalo uh, Aero kit here. And it's just, the tires don't do it justice. But now I got these Falcons and oh, this is what I've been waiting for. Oof. So I've been dying to track the car for some time and it's been like a year and a half since I did it. So uh, my buddy Percy posted up that he was thinking about going and I was like, fuck, I definitely want to go too. I've been trying to track with or go to the track with him for some time and he's been, he's got a lot more seat time than I have and I know, you know, he's loving it. So he said he was going to the PBIR and I'm like, fuck it, let's do it. Just bought the tires. I also got to register for the event. It's the SC. CA. I've been to one of these before. You guys watch some of my old videos, and I'm pretty much just gonna do it again. It's a you know a track night event. You know, get like three to four sessions, and it's gonna be fun. Uh, I'm probably gonna have to raise the car up. The front sits a little bit too low. Um, I don't want it catching the fender and ripping it apart. So if you watch my old videos, you know I've got a lot of the car already set up for uh, you know an amateur track day. Um, I got my brake fluid Multool 600, so that's really good. The BBKs are set. Tires just came in. Uh, I got my bucket seat in there. Oil change is done. Only thing I want to do next, or probably if I can, is do the AP2 retainers and keepers. That's the one thing that kind of worried about me. It, it, it performed pretty well, but I just don't know. The car's getting older, and I just don't want it to crack. They look really good. So they are directional or at least outside inside as you can see these are the fronts they're going to be 225 45 17 and these are the rears it's going to be 255 40 17 so they're going to match the same setup here 255 40 17 what the hell this is guys all this black it looks like dirt like dirt but I don't know if it's rubbing on my bumper or not just maybe the tires falling apart and then we got the fronts 225 45 17s so they'll look exactly like this just with the meteor you know tread but yeah man very excited so we're gonna go ahead and fast forward today and come back to it when the tires are on here they are guys Beautiful, beautiful tires. Falcon RT 615K Plus. Feels really nice and soft like the Bridgestones. Maybe not as soft as the, the Bridgestone RE71Rs that I used to have, but they're really nice. As you can see, all the dirt sticking to it already, just from rolling it around. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and mount it on the car and get it down on the jack stand and see how it looks. Think about raising up the front a little bit because it does catch the fender. Um, on occasion from backing out of my driveway so I can't imagine if I take it to the track and it's gonna I don't know gonna have to decide if I if I do mess with this a little bit right here I gotta get alignment again which I really hate 
taking it to alignment, but my buddy, my buddy could hook me up at the dealership. So, haven't decided yet. We're gonna go ahead and just put the wheels on and see how it looks, and then decide after that. Finally took the car out, guys. Sorry, sun's facing this way, so. Take a quick look at the wheels. They're a lot, lot more square than the uh, Michelin's. As you can see, the sidewall goes completely straight. The Michelin's had a little curve to it, which is nice. This is, I mean, look at look that fatness right there. Probably can't see on this side, but. Came out looking out really good. Came out looking out really, really nice. Walk around. Let's see if the focus on here. Here's the rears, 255, 40, 17. Also very square. As you can see. Same with the front. They do rub a little bit. I don't know if it's the plastic. I doubt it's the metal, but I'm probably gonna raise it up a little bit. I mean, it looks really good in this function, functional ride height, but it could be a lot nicer and better. <sighs> She's coming along, guys. I'm very excited and very happy with the way I'm redoing the build. Going authentic, going with quality parts. Authentic Amuse bumper. Falcon compound tires, Advan RS wheels, stop tech with two piece rotors. Those are really nice. Back in looking all right. Going in there, you see the old and coilovers. Gotta rock those. Also, back here we have Mugen titanium exhaust from AP2. Also, sporting the Red Recaro, um, SPGs, and a Momo Race steering wheel with a Nismo button, just because I don't care. Eventually I'm gonna end up getting a Mugen Suede. I just know Mugen Suede is a little harder to upkeep. Would be nice to find another, find a Mugen leather or whatever. I'm sorry if it's a little loud out here. It's, it's kinda windy, it's really nice. Thought, I, thought I'd take the car out and show you guys how it sits right now but definitely getting ready for the track tires are on it actually is a little bit stickier than most of the tires I've ran so far but it's not as sticky as the Mich uh, not Michelin's the Bridgestone RE71Rs those are really really sticky compared to these so but ah man it looks so damn good so simple so clean wish it wasn't so sunny now so you don't see my big head it's very windy yeah guys, hit the like button man, put some love, or show some love for the S2K. These cars are slowly becoming desired after and I mean they are pretty pricey out there but if you can find a really clean one man, restore it, rebuild it, keep it clean. I've been wanting to track the car for some time and this is probably one of the opportunities that I can do it. Just trying to rush through and get everything done. I haven't registered yet so we'll see, we'll update that in another video but just want to do a quick walk around with the car with the new tires on there it feels really good um more than likely i'm going to raise the front up a little bit for functionality purposes and then get an alignment before the track day uh, my buddy uh, bert over at acura is helping me out with that and um yeah i really appreciate his uh, help and just gonna be fun man it's gonna be really really fun so let's do one more walk around and I'll end the video there